Hey everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I realize I haven't made too many videos on homeschooling. I had a video where I did get ready with me's before, but I never really sat down and just talked to you about my homeschooling experience. So I thought it would be fun to compile a bunch of questions that I've gotten over the years of my homeschooling and answer them for you. I do want to put a disclaimer though that each person's homeschooling experience is completely different and I'm just answering these questions based off of my own experience. One of the biggest questions that I always get asked is do you have friends? I think that's such a funny question because I mean of course I have friends, I'm a human. They're like how do you even make friends though? Like you're always, if you're cooped up in your house and like you just work from home and you're not in like a building with a bunch of other school kids and I'm like school is really not the only place where you can make friends. I mean obviously I have my homeschool group so I'm around a lot of other people that are my age so I make friends. I'm in a lot of classes, I do Taekwondo too, I'm in a church, like there's a bunch of places where you can meet people and make friends. But especially the homeschool group I would say is one of the main places where I've been able to meet a lot of people because we have a lot of classes together so we're constantly around each other. So I'd say I make up my closest friends there. So <laughs> the answer is yes, I do have friends. I've gotten asked, do you actually stay at home? And I'm like, no, I don't really actually stay at home. Of course, I do stay home and get my schoolwork done because I need to get like my basic math, English, science, social studies, health, extracurricular. But I'm also out in extracurricular classes so that not only I can build up my transcripts, but no one really wants to stay cooped up at home and just doing their schoolwork every day at the computer. People are always asking me, do you do workbooks or do you work online? Like, what's your curriculum like? And I do work online. I am on this curriculum where it's through a larger curriculum and they have a special division of it for homeschoolers specifically so I have all of my basic like classes that I need to take to get my credits for high school I know a lot of my friends do use workbooks I personally just feel like I do better online though so I didn't go that route and what I really love about our program is that we have AP classes and honors classes we also get used to the format of taking testing a lot so we'll have like midterms and finals unit exams we have quizzes after every lesson so we're like prepared if there's a pop quiz or whatever and we can't study for it so I really like the way that it's structured. It calculates our GPA for us so we don't have to do it manually and it keeps track of everything. It tells us how many credits each class that we take is. So it's super simple and really easy to keep track of. I get asked, do you take tests? Which I mentioned earlier in the video, I have my midterms, I have unit exams, quizzes after every lesson. But in terms of like major testing, I do take tests. I take the CATS test and I know a lot of homeschoolers do take the CATS test too. When you're in high school, you have to take it every year because that's just the requirements for it. So we have to take our CATS test, and of course we have to take our SATs, ACTs. Regents for us are optional, so you could take Regents if you want to. I don't want to take Regents, and I don't have to take Regents, so I'm not going to, but I'm planning on taking like my PSATs too. We can take AP exams, we just have to contact the school and do it through another school, but yes, we do have testing. So once I tell them like about how I'm not at home, and I tell them I'm part of a homeschool group, they're like, okay, well, what is a homeschool group? And a homeschool group is kind of like, I like to say it's like a fill in the gap kind of a thing where they basically give us a lot of the perks that the school kids would have but within homeschooling. So for example, like we have co-op which is once a week we all meet together and we take three classes so it's three periods not including lunch. So we get to see each other and hang out and take class together so we have that structure. We also take trips, we have like these things called teen trips where we take a trip once a month up until summertime. So we get to plan those trips too, which is so much fun. So we get to do stuff that we want to do. Like, I mean, we've gone to amusement parks. We went mini golfing. We went to eat at restaurants. We did this lock-in where we pulled an all-nighter together. So we get to do a lot of fun things through the group. Um, we have meetings, monthly meetings, where we basically talk about like what's coming up for this next school year. We also have this Christmas meeting where we get to do a gift swap and you kind of have to figure out who gave you their gift and stuff. But it's really good for me because that way I get to build a community. I get to build like strong friendships because I'm constantly surrounded by these people. It's also good when you have questions because you're surrounded by so many people who are homeschooling their children or have homeschooled their children before. You have so many people around you that are open and willing to help you. I'm also part of a Christian homeschool group so it's so nice to be around other people that are my age that have the same faith as me. 
So there's a lot of benefits to a homeschool group. I just dived into like the basics, basics of it. But I definitely recommend if you want to be homeschooled or are homeschooler to join a group if you're not a part of one already. The way to find that would be to find a Google group or a website, a Facebook group too, or just kind of ask around if you know other people that are homeschooled. Why did I start homeschooling? I mean, my mom really like was the one to make the decision for us. But when I tell you that was the best decision that she could have made, at the time, I was very, very little, so I didn't, I couldn't make a decision for myself. I literally was fresh out of pre-K, you know, I couldn't really make an entire decision about my future of schooling. But I honestly do not regret it at all. This was the best choice that she could have made to be able to work at my own pace and excel when I feel like I can. I think it's such a good thing. And also, I just found out so much about myself and about, like, my hobbies and things that I love. There would be a lot of pieces of myself that I feel like I wouldn't know if I didn't dive into it or be exposed to it. And the biggest misconception is that like we're not going to be prepared for the real world. And I feel like if anything we're more prepared for the real world. We've been able to be exposed to new places and a lot of people so we know how to feel comfortable and to thrive in certain environments. Being able to be used to independent learning I think it's such a strength that is great going into college because you don't have people like telling you what work you need to do. You need to go and do it yourself. You need to keep track of yourself. And we already have a lot of these things instilled in us. So homeschooling really has a lot of benefits to it and I couldn't have asked for a better schooling experience. Do I wish I went to school or do I want to go to school? No, I don't wish I went to school. Obviously there's some things that I wish I had that schools had like homecoming or like spirit week and sports because I don't have sports but I also live in New York City and a lot of the schools in the city don't really have big homecomings or spirit weeks and stuff like that anyway it's like if you were to go to upstate or Long Island or depending on what state you live in it could be more important to you I just want to be clear though about the sports thing that I was talking about earlier New York does have really big sports I just have not really seen too much of sports celebrations, home, like the homecoming dances and stuff and like spirit week where everyone's getting super excited. As I said, unless you're in like the suburbs, but I mean each school is obviously different. I can't speak for all schools, but that's basically just like what my experience probably would have been like if I had gone to the schools around me at least. And also like people ask me like if you don't have prom or like graduation, like what is that like? I'm like, I do have prom and graduation. We actually have really nice proms and we rent spaces most of the time. My sister actually filmed a video on her homeschool prom, which I'll put in like the little eye. Um, so definitely go check that out if you want to see what it's actually like. In terms of graduation, we do have graduation. We have two different kinds because the group that I'm a part of is one group with a bunch of chapters based on where you live. So our chapters and a lot of other chapters have their own graduation. But the big organization has one for all the chapters to come together. So we don't miss out on like big graduations. Since a lot of people are online schooling, they'll ask me like, how do I stay focused or how do I stay organized doing my work at home all the time? And I have my binder. So I have all of my classes and dividers and I make sure that all of my notes are together so that I don't lose them. I also just learned how to build focus over the years. I mean, I've been homeschooled for eight years. I am lucky enough to have my own space to go off to and do my score. If you do have a space like that, I would suggest going off and doing your score there. I have my headphones that I put into my computer and I just like put both sides in. I don't know. I usually say a prayer before I start my score because that helps me to focus too. I really don't know. I really can't say much about that because there's not like specific things that I do to focus. I just kind of like develop that over the years. My sister did post a video though, like advice from a homeschooler to online schoolers, which I'll also put in the eye, where she talked about some tips and things that she uses to focus. So you should definitely go check that out. I forgot to mention earlier in the video that some of the questions that were in this video were from my friends and my family. I asked them like what questions they had about homeschooling or questions they got as homeschoolers. So thank you so much for being a part of this video and including questions into it. That was really awesome. Do I do my school in my pajamas? I mean most of the time I don't do my school in my pajamas. I'll change into like sweatpants 
or leggings and I'll put on like a good t-shirt, like not one that I go to sleep, but also like maybe a shirt that I used to wear to go out. I mean, occasionally, there's sometimes where it's really, really cold and I'll put on my onesie or I'll put on like a sweater, but I don't really wear my pajamas to do my school. And the reason for that is just because like when I wake up, I don't want to be in the same mindset that I just rolled out of bed and went to my computer. I want to get changed and like get in the mindset like I'm here and prepared to do my schoolwork. Do I take trips? I answered this in the beginning of the video when I talked about my homeschool group. So yeah, I do take trips. My mom is a part of a bunch of like Google groups and like Facebook groups. So there's just a bunch of different people organizing trips. I don't only take trips though through my homeschooling group. I'm a part of a couple of different homeschool groups, so I take trips with other groups too. How do you do PE? I mean, personally, I do Taekwondo to get my PE, and I also just work out a lot. I work out at least once or twice a week just because it's something that I genuinely enjoy doing. But I know a lot of people in my homeschooling group will do things through rec center, through the rec centers to get their PE. Like my friend was on the swim team for a few years. But when I did say my homeschooling group did not have any sports, I just meant they don't have like big sports teams. But they do have soccer, flag football, and there's one chapter under like the huge umbrella that I was telling you about that has their whole basketball team that goes against other schools. They just I'm not a part of that group and they're really far away from me. But for us, our sports teams, they don't compete. They just like practice and learn the sport and get their PE. Can homeschoolers go to college? I mean, our application process is basically identical to any other regular school application process. We have to send in our SAT and ACT scores, we have to write our essays and stuff. There's really not much of a difference unless you run into like a complication or they ask you for extra forms, but basically it's the same. Because schools are being more, are more aware of the fact that there are a lot of homeschoolers, so they've created ways for us to be able to apply to their school. Do I get annoyed when people ask questions about homeschooling? Normally I don't get annoyed when they ask questions about homeschooling. It just depends on what their intentions are. If there's someone that genuinely just wants to know about what being a homeschooler is like, then I'm like so happy to answer their questions. But if someone comes in with like pre-existing things that they know like, okay, I'm going to ask but I feel like I already know the answer to this. Like they'll be like, what is it like staying at home all day? Like, do you get annoyed that you don't have friends? I'm like, what do you mean? Do I get annoyed if I don't have friends? You already came in with like this mindset that you already know everything that you need to know and you're just looking for confirmation almost. But if there's someone that genuinely is interested in homeschooling or interested in knowing about homeschooling, then yeah, like I'm 100% happy and open to answer your questions. I hope that I answered your questions that you had about homeschooling or just cleared up what it is. Uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Also, feel free to comment down below if you have any other questions because I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And I hope to see you in my next upload. Bye guys!